Hi, my friends. It's time for a story and a little home activity. But first, we have to answer the question, what are we learning? What are we learning? What are we learning? This week, we are learning about day and night. Now, this is gonna be a very fun week because there's so many cool stories and videos and little songs that help us learn all about daytime and nighttime. Now, usually, to keep it really simple, we would just say that during the daytime, that's when we're awake. And then at night, that's when we go to sleep. I think that's the simplest way that we think of day and night. So it's time for our morning message. And for today, we're going to write the word d-d-day. Now let me get my pen up and running. How about we write in red today? Okay, so let's listen to the sounds while we spell the word d d d a a a y y y. Now that is a very short word. It's not too long. It's nice and short. Okay, help me spell it. D a Y spells day. And you know, in Espanol, la palabra día, it's the same number of letters. Let's see, so I'll write it up here. D I A Via. So we have day and via. That is when the sun comes out and it's bright and sunny. Well, usually it's bright and sunny. It can also be rainy during the daytime. I'm gonna say goodbye to my pen so that we can move this party along. And we're gonna learn a lot of sign language for this lesson. Um, and by we, I do mean me too, because I learn these signs as we go along. Um, but let's look at day. You see, I've already shown you a little bit the sign for day. You can just make the letter D and make that go down like this. We've got some helpful little pictures here so you can look back at this video. Parents, if you wanna look at the details of how to teach these signs to your kids. So we've got day and during the daytime, it's very bright. It's light outside usually because up in the sky, the sun is out. The sun is shining during the day. Now you can see down here, here's all the light coming in through the window from outside. But when the sun goes to sleep, when the sun goes down, and that is actually how you sign night. Just pretend you've got your little son and he goes down to sleep for the night. And that's when the moon comes out and that's a fun sign i should have included it here but it's basically like the letter c it's the shape of a moon of a crescent moon just like in our picture right here and you just sort of put it to your eye and put it up in the sky like you can see the moon up in the sky so at nighttime the moon comes out and there's still light but for the most part for us it is very dark. So ready? During the daytime, it's bright. And at night, it's dark. Because even though the moon has a little bit of light, the sun shines much brighter. And it looks very dark to us. And you also see the stars come out at night. Okay. So on that note, we're going to read a story called you guessed it, day and night. I'm gonna switch over to our epic books so that we can read our story. It's day and night, and this is by Robin Nelson. And I have shared all the books for this week with your wonderful families. So let's look. I think I'm gonna to need to move Miss Dominique's face a little bit out of the way if I can. There she goes. Look, day follows night, and then night comes after day. Hmm, 
what makes this cycle of day and night and day and night happen? How does it happen? It happens again. Oh, where's my picture? I got it somewhere here. It happens again and again, where we have day and night again. Day and night again. When something happens over and over, it's called a pattern. Now that's a little bit more of an advanced concept that we'll get into later, but for now, let's just think about how day comes after night and night comes after day and it happens again and again. And now let's see what our book tells us about why this happens. It's because the earth spins in outer space. We are all teeny tiny little people on this big gigantic planet called Earth. And it spins and spins in outer space, but we don't feel it. But in the morning, our part of the Earth is facing the sun and that's why it is so bright. You see the first light from the sun at dawn. This is when it's, oops, I was about to confuse my signs. It's been nighttime and then look, I see the little sun is starting to go up, up, up in the sky. Look at it here, it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. The sun rises up into the sky and that's what we call sunrise sunrise. We're usually still asleep by then, depending on what your sleep schedule is like. Now look, it is day. You can see the sun and clouds in the sky. Look at this bright and shiny day. Now that is some good weather. It's not rainy or anything. Now look, the earth keeps spinning. And then in the evening, your part of the earth is turning away from the sun. So the sun stays put, but we're now turning away from it. So it gets darker and darker. And look, the sun is going down in the sky, going down, down, down. The sun moves lower in the sky at sunset. That's what we call sunset because the sun is setting, it's going down. And you can no longer see the sun when it is dusk. So it's not super dark that you see these friends camping. It's not like it's totally dark outside, but the sun is no longer up in the sky. Now it is nighttime. And look, these friends have a campfire. They're roasting marshmallows and eating hot dogs. And if they look up, you can see the moon and the stars in the sky. But mostly it's very, very dark. That's why we usually stay inside the house at night because we have lights that we can turn on so that we can still see better. Up, oh, the earth keeps turning. Remember, it turns again. So then the sun is going to come up again in the morning and the cycle goes on and on and on. It happens again and again and again. The end. Now here's a nifty little diagram about how the earth is turning. And when we're on the nighttime side, it's all dark because it's facing away from the sun versus the daytime side of the earth is facing right at that bright, bright sun. Okay, my friends, our story is finished. You can always reread it with your family, with your parents. But for the meantime, we're gonna go back to our presentation and we're gonna learn some signs so that we can sing and practice this fun little rhyme that I know everybody has heard before. But before we do it, we're gonna learn three very important signs so that if you don't wanna sing with your voice, or even if you do wanna sing with your voice, but you also wanna use your hands to sing, you have every option possible. So first, let's look, see if you can find the sun. You can even pause the video and point or touch, go find Mr. Sun. Boop. There he is. 
Now, I've already shown you this sign a few times, but now you can see very clearly this awesome lady in orange is showing us that all you have to do is draw a circle with your hands. I don't know how well you can see this. A circle in the sky, kind of like the shape of the sun. And then you make it blink like this. It's because there's bright, bright light that comes from Mr. Sun. So that's how we do sun. Now we also need to know how to sign the word tree. So usually you put your arm kind of like this and then your tree grows out of it. And then you can wiggle your fingers or turn your hand to show the leaves in the tree that are swaying, maybe in the wind. So we've got tree. I'm a little too close, I guess, for this. And then, of course, most importantly, and all of our friends know the sign, play. So you just make two letter Y's and you just twist your hands like this, twist at the wrist, twist at the wrist, play. Now, some of you might already know what song we're going to sing, but in case you haven't figured it out, I'm going to reveal the song that I want you to practice singing and or signing with your family is Mr. Sun. You guessed it. That's exactly what we've been talking about. So we've all heard this song, but I'm going to slow it down so that we can practice moving our hands and our bodies. And for parents that are helping your kiddos, I want you to focus on trying to help your child imitate you. Now, these are not really complex movements that we're doing. Um, and it doesn't matter if your kids aren't making the perfect sign or the perfect um, imitation of your movements, as long as they're participating and they're trying to kind of have a back and forth with you um, where they're imitating what you're encouraging them to imitate, that is all that matters. So let's get to it. So our little tune goes, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Ta -da! Now I have down here, we have our nifty again core symbol, or we also have finished. So your child might be able to tell you themselves, do they like the song? Do they want to sing it again and again and again? Or do, are they finished? Do they want to stop there? Um, I forgot to include fast and slow, but I know all of my families, you have, um, you have communication books at home with all of the core vocabulary. So that's another great way you can have your child choose to sing it again, but this time will you sing it slowly or will you sing it fast? Now, because we're doing sign language, it might be a little bit tricky to go fast. So how about first, Miss Dominique is gonna try going really slowly. Slow down, that is the sign language for slow. Fast, I'm honestly not sure, but we'll get to that. So if I'm singing very slowly, and I would go, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. I got faster. I know I'm supposed to be going slowly. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Whew. Now, I'm going to try to go fast. This is usually what all of our friends want to do. They want to go fast, as fast as possible. So we're going to try. My sign language won't be good, so we'll see. And a one, a two, a one, two, three. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, 
sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Roop. Okay, Whew. I am now so tired. So I'm gonna say, I am finished singing. Whew. I hope you guys like this song, this rhyme, and definitely refer to this. Um, I'll, I'll also post it on Class Dojo, but this these are the simple core vocabulary words and fringe vocabulary that our friends are used to seeing to really help them understand the meaning behind the words of the song. So that is something that you can practice as much or as little as you like. I hope you guys enjoy practicing some sign language and talking about day and night. But for now, our literacy circle is finished. Good job, my friends. Our literacy story is finished. Good job, my friends. Our literacy home activity is finished. Good job, friends. I will see you later. Bye-bye.